What is a carbon tax? Let's start by talking a little bit about carbon. Carbon is a natural element found in most everything around us, and it's a key building block of all living things. A lot of carbon is stored in different ecosystems, such as in trees and in the organic matter in soils and wetlands and in oceans. It's also naturally present as a gas in our atmosphere, mostly in the form of CO2, where it plays an important role in the carbon cycle that moves carbon through plants, soils, oceans, and the atmosphere. However, for many decades, human activities have been adding huge quantities of CO2 and other gases to the atmosphere, mainly from using fossil fuels such as petroleum, coal, and gas, but also from agriculture and cutting down trees. Really, almost everything we do produces carbon emissions, since a lot of our energy comes from burning fossil fuels. As a sidebar, when market activities have negative and uncompensated side effects on society, economists call this a negative externality, and another video goes through this in this series. Reducing these negative externalities through taxes or other measures benefits society as a whole. As a consequence of current and historic carbon emissions, we have dangerously high levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and this is changing our climate. Specifically, it's causing more frequent and severe storms, droughts, and floods. We are already seeing these negative impacts in our own communities and around the world, and they can be very costly for society. Consider, for example, the health impacts of heat waves and the damage to buildings and crops from flooding. To address the problem, we need to rapidly reduce carbon emissions. Carbon taxes can help us to do just that, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon taxes work to reduce emissions in two ways. First, they make it more expensive to produce and use fossil fuels. And when things are more expensive, we tend to use less of them. Second, they spur innovation and drive investment into clean energy. Together, these effects mean fewer harmful greenhouse gas emissions, reducing the severity of climate change. The simplest approach to a carbon tax is to charge a per ton fee on carbon from oil, coal, and gas producers based on how much they pull out of the ground. But there are many important considerations in the design of carbon taxes. For example, how to treat the emissions associated with imported goods. Applying a carbon tax domestically can make some domestic firms less competitive when they compete with imported goods. There are also equity considerations. For example, lower income households spend a large share of their income on energy, so any change in energy costs will have a bigger impact on those households. The design of carbon taxes and related policies is an important area of study in environmental economics and will be increasingly critical to meet the huge challenges of climate change.